Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a detailed look and review of the Damian Lillard signature model right here in front of you. It's the very first one for Damian Lillard. Really excited that he finally has his own model. I have a couple of the player exclusives on each side as well. But I got to give a major shout out to Coppers. He's a local sneaker guy and basically he um, linked up with me and let me do the review on these because this is actually his pair of sneakers. He's even going to let me put these on feet for the on foot section at the end of the video. So major shout out to Coppers. Uh, give him a follow on Instagram if you guys will. Let him know that it has sent you over there. But I uh, really do appreciate him for, for meeting me up. Basically, the story goes like this. And before I get into the detailed look up close, um, he actually ended up getting these from going to the Damian Lillard event, which was really, really crazy that they had it. And basically, they invited 150 people first come, first serve to uh, go and meet Lillard. And Future was there and did a, a couple songs and performed. It was a big, like, kind of a, a local release, and I thought it was just genius the way that Adidas did this. Reached out to the local community, had the local folks go and meet up. I mean, it really means quite a bit, actually, and Lillard's, this isn't something new for him. I mean, he did the uh, the real deal signature for his, his Rookie of the Year shoe right here, and you can see that I, I went and waited in line and got these signed. If you guys don't remember, I did a, um, a video on these, and then also... Um, last year he did a signature for these uh, crazy ones and uh, so the dude is a stand-up dude and he's one of those guys that is kind of community oriented and he's not from Portland he's from um, Cali which is part of this town biz stuff is his like crew and stuff I guess from from home is what they say but but uh, but I thought it was really cool that he actually um, like cares about his local community that is in now so shout out to Adidas and Lillard for for wanting to reach out like they did i really wish i would have went to the event i didn't even know that it was going on uh i was actually sick that day anyway so i wouldn't have been able to go but um but anyway coppers went to this event and he said and so shout out to sneakerheads of portland it's a it's the portland uh it's like a facebook group like sneaker group and he saw on there somebody posted about um the meet and greet with the sneakers and they didn't even know what was going to go on they they just thought they would go and see like the unveiling and stuff as soon as they got, got there, though, um, they, they asked him what size he was, and he told him he was a 10, and they gave him the shoes for free. So he didn't even have to pay for them. He got the shoes, I think, a T-shirt and some socks or something like that, he said. Maybe a hat, I can't remember. And then um, then they got to go and sit and wait, and Lillard showed up. If you guys saw the the thing that went all over the, the sneaker blogs, he did his, like, four-bar Friday verses, and then um, and then Future performed, and then they got a, a up-close look at, like, three or four different colorways of the upcoming... Um, uh Damon Lillard sneaker that you see in front of you so it's really cool that they actually got it, it's basically like they got to go to one of those exclusive Jordan events that only the the flight 23 people those, those 23 like social media people which I wish I was one of them but I'm not uh, but they get to go to these events and then they get to give us all the dirt on all the stuff this was like cool because it was the local version of that on a smaller scale um but equally as cool obviously with performances and meeting the athletes and, and everything else so uh, I really like what Adidas did. I know this is a long introduction before you even see the shoe, but I thought it was worthy of that. Also, I've been saying this since uh, th this shoe right here came out. I've been saying like Lillard needs his own signature model, and I was saying if they don't give him his own signature model, he was going to go to a Nike. That was my thought process because um, I know Lillard, if you've seen his Instagram in the past, he has a ton of Nikes and stuff like that in, the, like, in his own personal collection, um, but... Uh, Adidas did the smart thing. They they copped up the money. They kept Lillard on, and then they brought us the flagship. It's not really a overly expensive sneaker. It's one hundred and five dollars. I mean, flagship as in like his own signature model. And I think it's a tremendous sneaker. I have to say, for a signature sneaker at the one hundred and five dollar price range, I saw images and I was like, yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty neat. You get them in hand, and I'm I'm blown away with what I'm seeing here. Um, first of all, there's, there's a lot of details, you know, I'm, I'm a detailed kind of person. Um, you can see right here, it says that the adiprene, I believe it is plus, and this, this is what I thought was kind of cool. This kind of, uh, graphic of like a snake skin, but it's not an actual snake skin, but I like the fact that it's kind of like a graphic over top of it. Um, it's a little textured as well as you can hear. Um, and then it has a kind of a nice little new buck in the like upper right here. And then it has this kind of a different material it's it's definitely uh i don't know what the, what the word it's not reflective obviously it's it's um mirrored ish or something i don't know i don't know what the right word is i'm losing it here i've had a long day of work i apologize but 
but basically you can see like the light through it because it's black but you can see that it's it's like that but um anyway i'm losing that part of it i'm losing that battle let's move on tech fit down here you can see it says uh, and it has kind of this neoprene sleeve and it says dame on the tongue i like the fact that they did this also on the other one it says adidas so it says dame and adidas and then if you flip to the back it says Adidas and has the Damien Lillard logo. And that's actually something else that I thought was pretty cool, how they gave him his own logo. It's a D, and then it's an L, and then it has the wings, as I was showing you on, on the uh, the Town Biz shoe over there. So it has a DL, and then he's number zero as well, so it has that. And shout out to Cousteau. I saw his video, I saw part of his video, where he mentioned uh, that logo. And at first, be before actually I even saw him or heard him say that about the logo, I didn't really think there was anything special about it. But... So shout out to Cousteau on that one. Uh, he did a great breakdown of this sneaker um, as well. And then you can see, so I like that the, the Dame is on one, the Adidas is in the back, and then the Dame is on one, the Adidas is in the front. So it's not just Dame all in one, Adidas all in the other. It's it's co-branded, and I thought that was just a subtle thing, but it's it's kind of important, I think. Uh, you can see, and I don't know anything about the Adidas technology, and I apologize for that, uh, but you can see it says Sprint Frame down there, and... Uh, Looks like it's a little bit uh, soft and gushy down there. And then you can see the, the soles. I like that they did the camo print. You can see that the traction is kind of interesting, the way that they have this uh, laid out. I'm really, really curious to see Nightwing do a performance review or whoever else out there. But usually I go, I go to Nightwing for performance stuff or Fomer or Kickstenius. Um, all those dudes do like tremendous performance reviews. But uh, all in all, I have to say that this is a really well done sneaker for a uh, entry level sneaker for a hundred and five dollars um that's that's badass you like you get a lot of sneaker for a hundred and five dollars and in in a game where in the market now where the price points are so expensive for sneakers i mean the like the kobe tens was announced for i think 180 for the low top version meaning the high top versions will probably be 225 i mean the i the kobe nine uh, KRMs were 275 or 250 or something like that. It's just crazy. I mean, these are 105. Like that's a, it's a no brainer. It's it's a good price for a sneaker that you can actually play ball in or you can wear casually or whatever. Kind of reminds me of the tubulars a little bit. The, the the shape or some aspects of it for some reason. I should have brought the tubulars out for comparison, but I didn't. Um, but what do you guys think? What do you think about Lillard's first signature series sneaker? I'm really excited. One thing I will show you that is interesting is I thought these were called the Damian Lillard 1s, but if you look at the box, it actually doesn't say um, Lillard 1. It just says D. Lillard, which maybe this is because this is an early box um, or because they got them early that that they didn't have that. I'm not really sure, uh, but it's kind of interesting nonetheless. Um, I'll put the on-foot section right here for you guys so you guys can see what they look like on feet. And uh, yeah, man, I just, I'm really, really thrilled that Lillard has a signature shoe. I'm definitely going to be buying a pair for myself. Um, the other thing that's worth noting is they will have these available on the the Mi uh, Adidas or whatever it's called. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Mi, Mi Adidas or M I Adidas. Um, and they're going to have these so you can kind of design your own. Curious to see how that's going to work out. I will put links to this. So if you watch this after February 6th, I will put links in the description to be able to purchase these as well as to the um, to the online feature, which I believe they're 120 for the, the My Adidas or whatever it's called. Um, so you can kind of design your own, kind of like Nike ID version uh, of the Willards. But leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the, the model. Uh, again, I'm just really, really excited that uh, Lillard has his own signature model. And I definitely support it. And I like that, again, he's not from the Portland area, but he represents it well. And uh, Adidas represents uh, him well. Like It, it just seems like a, a really uh, well-thought-out match. Um, when it comes down to it, the price point is, is it, again, it's like $105. Like it's, it's not that much money to be able to put towards a signature model, uh, sneaker. And, uh, hopefully they have some, some really cool colorways, um, coming. We saw a couple of the initial launch. So I definitely am looking forward to seeing some more. Anyway, hope you guys like this review. I know it's a little bit long winded. Uh, sh shout out again to coppers. Uh, again, follow him on uh, Instagram. If you guys will, uh, his link is in the description. Uh, but I'll post uh, up and tag him on Instagram as well as I post pictures of these if you guys are curious. But I forgot to mention one thing real quick, guys. Uh, the insoles was something that was definitely cool to, to note. Try to get it in here if I can. But you can see it has a quote on the inside. And I'll write the quote down in the description so you guys can see it. But he was talking about when he was younger, he, w he dreamed of having his own signature sneaker and whatnot. 
And then on the other shoe, there's like his signature with the number zero. Um, so the other last little tidbit I wanted to add in was the fact that the size actually uh, runs big. So if you are a nine and a half normally like me, uh, you definitely want to go down a size to like nine and a, or nine instead of nine and a half. Uh, just throwing that out there. I'll leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. I have a ton queued up uh, in in my uh, my my YouTube queue here, and uh, so stay tuned. Just tons and tons of reviews and stuff for the most recent pickups that I got. Thank you guys for uh, staying tuned. Appreciate all my followers, subscribers, uh, and buddies out there. We'll catch you guys for some more vids though. Peace.